Thank you so much uh, for the opportunity given to me to present our work here. I'm not a full professor, I'm just associate professor, so I would like to ask excuse for that. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to present uh, some of our work uh, we have done here in Ethiopia uh, uh, over the past uh, three to five years. I just want to highlight the double burden of uh, malnutrition in adolescent uh, in Ethiopia. Uh, we have a consortium of researchers from India, Africa, and the United uh, Kingdom. We have been working together over the past uh, five years just to identify problems of adolescent nutrition in sub-Saharan uh, regions. Our aim was just to understand the burden of adolescent malnutrition, to understand adolescent behaviors on nutrition, and to identify uh, factors contributing for malnutrition in adolescent. Our aim during that time was uh, we were interested to develop interventions focusing for adolescents so that we want to identify uh, mechanisms and strategies to engage adolescents and also to identify factors and also uh, we want to improve the nutritional and health status of uh, adolescents. So we have been doing three types of research, qualitative research, systematic review and meta-analysis, and primary quantitative researches. One of uh, the uh, study I'm going to present is a systematic review and meta-analysis of researches done here in Ethiopia over 20 years. So, I have almost reviewed about, uh, I have extracted about 3,200 uh, studies published since 2000. And of this, I have included into the review about 78 uh, articles. And the review showed that stunting, stunting thinness, and overweight are prevalent, as we have been uh, uh, discussing over the past two days. And stunting accounts about 22%, as you see, followed by stunting about 18%. And over, uh, overweight, it is coming uh, to our adolescent about uh, 11%. So it is becoming uh, prevalent in this country. When we see micronutrient deficiency, anemia accounts uh, top. About 33% of our adolescents are affected by uh, uh, okay, thank you. Uh, anemia. And iodine deficiency is also very prevalent. And iodine uh, deficiency related greater uh, problems are uh, very common, especially in the northern part of uh, the country where there is uh, uh, high land and deficiencies of uh, iodine irrigation uh, in the water system. And vitamin D, zinc, folate, and vitamin A are uh, the next uh, deficient uh, micronutrient over uh, adolescents. When we see the distribution of, uh, distributions of this uh, malnutrition, we can see uh, stunting more prevalent in boys and in the northern part of the country and it is lower in the southern region and in the capital cities of uh, the country. And also, uh, when we see uh, thinness, thinness is also more prevalent in boys and in the northern part of the country, and it is lower in girls and in the northern part of the country and in the capital city. When we see uh, overweight and obesity, it is more prevalent in girls and uh, girls living around uh, cities. When we see the age and sex comparison, as I have said, uh, it is uh, overweight is more prevalent in girls, while stunting and thinness is more uh, prevalent in uh, boys and living in rural uh, kinds of uh, environments. So, when we see the trend of this nutritional status, we did not identify any trend over the past 20 years, almost overweight thinness and stunting have been existing uh, in a similar trend over the, the past uh, 20 years. And we did not have a longitudinal data that compares the same uh, setting, the same adolescent in the same environment uh, over 20 years because we have reviewed independent researches uh, that have been done here and uh, there. So when we see predictors of uh, malnutrition, we find uh, 
low dietary diversity scores for undernutrition, low frequency of uh, daily uh, meal intake, high household family size, uh, low maternal education, food insecurity, and poor quality uh, source of drinking water as a predictors of undernutrition in adolescents in the country in general. When we see predictors of overweight, uh, urban residency, female sex, low level of physical activity, or uh, increased sedentary lives are uh, strong predictors of uh, overweight and obesity. So the implication of this finding is that double burden of adolescent malnutrition is becoming rampant and increasing. The burden of malnutrition is not linear and it's complex and difficult. And the finding highlights the need uh, to target uh, interventions, uh, targeted interventions. I mean, all intervention cannot uh, apply for girls, boys, for urban and rural, and also uh, for older and younger uh, adolescents. So feasible, acceptable, and accessible service should be designed to improve uh, the nutritional status of adolescents uh, in this uh, country, and in many low- and middle-income countries, uh, actually. Thank you so much.